Hello everyone, welcome to our exam B. I hope all of you are staying safe and doing well. Today, let's take a quick look at five smart ways to improve your vocabulary. It's a very common question that I get from my students. And the question is how to improve our vocabulary. We have so many vocabulary based questions coming in the exam and until and unless your vocabulary is quite advanced and up to date it's very difficult to handle those questions then the obvious question comes how to improve our vocabulary so fast so quickly and so efficiently let's take a look at five smart ways to do this before i start here is a quick reminder if you are looking for an uh, for a course that will help you to prepare in your journey towards SBIPO or IBPSPO, you have come to the right place. We have an exclusive online course and our highlights are regular guidance, exclusive mock test, personalized study plan, performance monitoring and one-on-one -on -one sessions with faculty. And to very important information, our new batch is starting on the 17th and we currently have a first a flat 30% off if you use this code start bees so this is the best time to get enrolled enroll now without further delay also another uh, reminder we have a similar plan running for IBPS RRB exam as well and here we have flat 70% off so don't be de don't delay don't get late enroll right now and use the code success okay so we're going to take another step towards success and take a look at five quick steps and this is the classic the classical advice you would ever get okay the classical method to improve your vocabulary read speak and listen you have to combine these three steps you have to read you have to speak and you have to listen now let's make this task a bit interesting reading does not only mean newspapers we tend to read a lot of newspapers it's a very common advice you read newspapers you read editorials but sometimes it becomes very boring right try to read a wide range of written you can read newspapers, you can read blogs, you can read journals, books, whatever you can get your hands on. The entire idea is to get exposed to the language, different nuances of the language. You have to read those words on print, pronounce those new words on print. So just diversify your reading habit. No matter what you get, blogs, so now reading blogs is very very interesting when you're reading blogs if you move ahead and you listen to vlogs now these are video blogs you get to listen you also get to read because sometimes they come with subtitles so try to speak english speak in english anywhere maybe you're calling some customer care you are talking to your friends you're talking to your teachers if it's possible make 100% attempt give your best and try to speak the language the next is listen listen to english movies watch english english movies just switch on the subtitles once you switch on the subtitles you are listening and if you're having any trouble comprehending you can read the meaning in the subtitles Listen to cricket commentaries, listen to sports commentaries, uh, listen to video blogs, listen to travelogues. And your best friend here is social media. If you have Facebook and Instagram, when you can read English posts, you can read uh, when people go live, you can listen to them. You have all those beautiful posts, beautiful pictures that come in with a write-up. So use the social media efficiently. 
it's your best friend at this point of time it's going to expose you to the language step number 2 and this is again another classical method and this is a very very proactive method what do you do you once you are done with the first step then you need to start the next step w l c r method you write down the word look at the word understand the word then cover it and then try to recall the meaning or try to use the word and you repeat this process it's a very very active process you have to consciously and intentionally put in your best and try to achieve this you have to do this you have some time before your exam from every day to day start today today itself go online listen to your blog listen to your favorite bloggers listen to your favorite youtubers go on social media read up a post try down the word that you do not know look at it try to find out the antonyms synonyms different types the different aspects of the word cover the word try to remember the word try to use the word in a sentence this practice will make you perfect step number 3 try to understand the meaning from the context and this step my friends will help you a lot during the exam because it is not possible for you to understand or memorize each and every word that we have in the english dictionary so you have to understand the meaning from the context let's, let's take a look at the sentence with the passing years their animosity strengthened to the extent that they weren't even ready to talk with each other on the phone and we are looking for a word animosity you don't know the meaning of the word animosity what do you do so you try to understand the meaning from the context what does the sentence say as years moved on there something became strong so much that they did not even talk to each other on the phone maybe it cannot be a happy feeling right it cannot be that the friendship increased the friendship improved the relationship improved they are loving each other no it cannot be something negative opposite of friendship they were not even talking to each other on the phone so what can it be definitely not love right maybe hatred we don't know but something related to hatred and you right my friends animosity means hostile not friendly yes so you can understand the meaning from the context and this step my friend will help you a lot during the exam try to understand the meaning from the vocabulary passage from the comprehension passage and try to get the meaning from the context when you are attempting that reading comprehension question this is step number 4 try to make it interesting as i said reading can be boring reading can be monotonous try to make it interesting now let's try to make try to make the entire process of learning vocabulary interesting when if you are tired from preparation and you are bored go online if you have that smartphone if you have your internet if you have your laptop and your computer you are very very lucky use it use it to the fullest how do you use it play word games there are so many word games that you play play you can play scrabble you can play crossword you can play hangman you can play word searches start with the easy ones start with the easy ones even if you cannot answer all fill in all the blocks of the crossword doesn't matter you still get to learn 10 words you still get to learn 15 words hangman hangman is when you guess a word and for every incorrect guess the incorrect letter that you guess uh, one of the limbs gets cut off from the hangman it's a very very interesting game you can go on and there are so many word searches that you can play so make it interesting play something get involved it's a very very active intentional process you have to get involved don't make it boring play word games and the last step use the internet wisely there are so many 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 apps that i can't even keep on telling you we have magush world builder it's a free app you can download it on the phone and it's going to give you 6 to 7 words every day there are so many vocabulary apps that's going to give you a word of the day and with up with the word of the day you get synonyms and antonyms download these free vocabulary apps they are there for you you have to use it wisely and there's a word there's an app called word sift it's very very interesting 
when you type anything any new word it's gonna have a search engine when you search a new word type in a new word it's gonna give you a tree diagram and that tree diagram will have all different words associated with that word go and go and try word shift there are so many vocabulary apps that are visible that are available widely on the internet it's all for students it's all for you you just need to use it okay and last flashcards there are also we also have certain apps that use use flashcards you get free flashcards where the uh, the meaning will be given on the other side and you need to write the correct word and the flashcard turns and you get the right word so all these are different interesting activities that you can do and this will make your learning process interesting it will keep you engaged and involved and at the end of the day that is what we want when you're learning vocabulary you should be interested not bored so i hope you liked these five smart ways to increase your vocabulary do start today right now this is the moment and let me know in the comment section what you felt about these techniques about these methods and have you actually used any of these apps and what did you feel about it thank you so much thanks for watching stay tuned